you know, when it comes to that Shanquella Robinson case, it's hard to get people to really look at some of the realities that come along with it. You know, Mexico ain't necessarily moving in a way that says that'll ever be solved as a crime. And I think it's more important to look at how Mexico operates overall. That way we'll have a clear understanding of why it's probably not the safest or best place to be. Okay, in this story, you have eight bodies in Cancun being brought there by the cartel. Now, these are warnings, and it's not being transferred like that because a lot of this isn't used to just scare you or whatever, but the cartel ain't bringing bodies to resort towns for nothing, okay? These are warnings, and they want you to come and lamp on them beaches and have fun and spend your money, but they can't control that cartel. And you have to watch this news and pay attention to what's going on in Mexico because body after body is being found. People are being disappeared daily. And you don't hear that because they can't solve any of it. So if they can't solve the everyday crime, the one that we're talking about from months ago, it can't be a high priority for them. We, we know that. And I do think a lot of people want justice for Shanquella. I just, they, I think they don't know how to go about it. And I don't think the oral expression of it a lot of times is intellectual enough. You know, it's just the fact of the matter here that justice for Shanquella is going to come through Mexico if we get it. And Mexico isn't a good place in seeking justice. People that are Mexican citizens don't get justice. And so, again, having that understanding as an American is paramount before you go. Because if the Mexican citizens can't get justice, if they can't control their criminal element, you're a sitting duck a lot of times when you go to these places. And if they're willing to bring bodies to the resort towns just so they can be found and it'll be talked about, that means you're always in danger, no matter where you are. And a lot of this is overlooked, and I would even say somewhat glorified. The narcos narratives and all of that, it plays out here. This is where you get a lot of the understandings that the drug game and the drug cartels ain't as dangerous as they actually are. And so make sure that registers with you as you look at these stories. It's not just me giving you a story that's negative. This is really a threat to people who would go down there and not pay attention to what's going on around the actual country. Now, like I said, I want justice for Shanquella, just like a lot of others, but I don't think it's going to come because of how Mexico operates. So for that reason, I've been saying for months, black people, uh, Americans, there should be a travel ban. We shouldn't be going to Mexico. If they cannot control that cartel and control what's going on and keep people safe, then we'll need to be going there. They shouldn't be able to come out and give excuses as to why the cartel keep doing this to people. And so, you know, that's what it's going to be in the future. More and more crime. Why are Americans still going there putting their lives at risk? And I know it's it's dangerous in the United States. I'm not here to argue that with you. Of course it is. But you have an opportunity to get justice most of the time. I mean, if the perpetrator is unknown, the perpetrator is unknown. But we know in Mexico... It doesn't matter if the perpetrator is known or not. At times, the perpetrator can even pay off the police. Again, the issues that arise with a country like Mexico have to be highlighted before people start booking trips to go to Cancun. Like I said, you might think that this isn't a town where the cartel might pop up, 
but you see it. Eight bodies, fam. And because they're willing to just come and dump these bodies there for you to see, I think you should take note of that. 